publicly punished, Delegate Jay Jalisi is unanimously reprimanded in the House today. It comes after an ethics panel found a pattern of bullying and abusive workplace behavior. Accusations the delegate denies. WJC is live. Ava Joy Burnett sat down with the delegate tonight. Ava Joy. Well, Vic, the House of Delegates voted 136 to 0 to reprimand Delegate Jay Jalisi for allegedly mistreating staffers down there in Annapolis. He told me earlier today that is not true, and he only needs the best from people who work with him. After allegations a Maryland lawmaker was bullying his staff, an ethics committee investigated then voted to reprimand a colleague, Delegate Jay Jalisi. This report from the committee, based on 38 interviews, concluded that Jalisi fostered bullying and abusive workplace behavior towards his staff since 2015. And despite several efforts from leadership to try to dissuade this behavior, the pattern continued. He allegedly called a staffer stupid and incompetent and told the person to repeatedly say, I am incompetent. I am incompetent. What is your response to that? That's um, bogus. Delegate Jalisi, who's also a medical doctor, told WJZ the allegations come from people who don't really know him. What they are basically doing is telling me that they don't like my style, they don't like my tone. Did you ever call anyone stupid or incompetent? No. No, I didn't. Did and you ever yell at any of your employees to the point where people in other rooms could hear you? No. No. Did you ever force people to work? During snowstorms. No, look. There, um, let me let me answer this. Um, uh, it, I, we cannot force anyone to work. You cannot. You just can't. And um, this issue of being made to work in a storm, snowstorm, I can't force anyone to do it. But I do work. When people come to my office, I tell them that you are joining the A team. Delegate Jalisi isn't the only one to get a recent rebuke. Last month, Delegate Mary Ann Lacinti was censured after accusations she used a racial slur. Well, I think it's important that we do the right thing and uh, ensure that others in our uh, body are doing the right thing. Members of the Ethics Committee have recommended Delegate Jalisi undergo anger management, but until then, his staff will not get paid. If somebody in your administration had an issue with you, they should not cut off the payroll for people who work under you. I mean, they have nothing to do with anything. Jalisi says he has staffers who worked for him for a long time with no problem, and some of those people have issued formal statements of support. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.